Jesus. Imagine investing $500 million into Project Stargate because you're triggered by an open source AI model. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's just spend up everybody's money even more. Why not? <laughs> oh, wait till John Connor hears about this. Yo, what's up, guys? Today we got a new video. You know what I mean? We got a new one. We got a new I'm back. It's been a while. Anyway. AI tools built into Linux distributions. This is the new trend, the new thing. Um, well, maybe not the new trend, but I've seen it a couple times, and it's getting really annoying. Um, recently, I was looking at this uh, Linux distribution. Uh, let's look it up. Daitana. And Daitana, I have mixed feelings about this. Uh, so I installed this on my other machine, and I went through their installer. Their installer is extremely interesting because it's like, all custom, right? It's it's you know, it's like end curses or something. It's like in in the TTY and you got menus and and there's just so many different things you can pick and it it's honestly it's very confusing who this is for. Okay. So with Daitana, it comes with a digital assistant, blah blah blah, this and that. But then if you like look at their design philosophy right it it becomes excuse extremely confusing so high what is it value high configurability uh configurability without the need to rely on the terminal so in other words they want you to do everything through graphic install which is i don't know with the complexities and the stuff that is built into this i don't understand why they're not trying to raise the bar for their users hey bud learn the terminal it'll be good for you eat your broccoli you know what i mean um yeah just confusing to me but yeah you see stuff like this uh and then recently on um distro watch they did a poll and we'll look at the poll opinion poll distributions with ai tools included right and then look at what we got here 76% of people, no, I do not want AI models in my OS, right? Let's see, the people that say yes, it's like, basically like a third. A third of users said, okay, I'll do it. So that's like, you know, your Fedora, you know, Gnome, KDE, you know, uh, Ubuntu type people that are just like, yeah, totally. Yeah, put that on my machine. Totally. Yay. Now, okay, security reasons, security purposes, security things. I'm not super well versed on like how safe an LLM is. I'm assuming it's fine. Uh, I would have seen great outrage in my feeds, but I, I never saw any of that. So, yeah. So do you need it is it bloat let me explain a couple things as you start to install one of these things it's going to take absolutely for for ah, forever whatever model they decide those things aren't small you know like a 1.5 billion parameter model is like four gigs or something like that and that's like this this on the smaller end of the scale if you go up to the seven eight billion parameters you go even further they get they, the models get bigger and bigger and bigger so as you're installing this distro it's going to take you forever because you're going to be waiting for all that time of it downloading it from whatever server it's downloading and blah blah blah. The actual app itself, I over here, I have Olama installing right now. I've had this running for, I don't know, probably three or four minutes, and it's it's like just installing the software right now, as you see it finished, and that's not even um like getting the model. So I have to do. Let's just do Code Llama because that'll probably be one of the ones. So now I'm pulling on here, I'm pulling the LLM off the server. And this itself, 3.8 gigs, that's a small model. You know, that'll take a little bit of time too. On top of all the other stuff. So essentially it becomes a big time sink, you know, when you have these tools installing as you're setting up a distro. And personally, with my own personal experience with Linux, it's far better to do a lot of the work after the base system is installed rather than doing it during the setup. Because when you do it during the setup and it goes all messed up, 
Next thing you know, you're redoing that whole install. You you might have to sink a whole nother, you know, hour and a half, two hours into it because it's downloading, you know, like whatever LLM and, and whatever software plus all of the software that's default on the ISO. So yeah, I know I'm being like a little bit redundant in my saying this, but it's gonna it's it it's yeah, it's bloat, dude. It's bloat. It's a massive pile, steaming pile of bloat with flies on it. That's what it is. So yeah. Um, Dytana Linux comes with this, and other other Linux distributions like Linux distros with AI. Let's see. Let's just look out of curiosity. Let's see. Any Linux distros? We'll go right here to Reddit. Blah blah blah. Rel has an AI edition. Makulu, which is like uh it's it, it it's a spin of ubuntu from like southeast asia i forget which country uh <laughs> so there's a couple there and you know you know obviously daitana there's there's some stuff deep in do we need this do we really need this we don't need this uh so yeah and then if you think about ai in general i should get kind of into like my experience with using llms and whatnot so i've used llms as a learning tool here and there uh, over the past couple years well maybe like year or so and what ends up happening is this i type in a question it shoots out a bunch of answers right but all these answers aren't anything I can't find just by searching, right? Um, I don't know if anybody else has this sort of um, experience as I do with it. I, I, I find it to be almost useless and just taking up space on my machine because the things that I use it for, I can literally just open my browser and search and I'll find it. And I might even find better detailed information than what the AI is going to give me, because you got to remember, it's making decisions on whether or not the points that it gives you is useful or not. And maybe the AI is stupid. Well, actually, I will tell you, 100% of the time, the AI is stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you might not get the full details, the full answers of what you're doing. If you're generating uh, chunks of code with it, you know, you might not have the full understanding of what that little code block even does and a lot of the time it'll push it out in a weird way that a normal person who programs wouldn't write it you know what i mean like it would use alternative methods hey maybe even sometime it might be a more efficient cooler method but is it really worth sacrificing discovering this sort of stuff just to get an easy answer on the quiz you know what i mean i don't i don't think it's necessarily worth it um i know that we're walking into an era where, where AI models are going to affect every aspect of our daily lives from, you know, uh, the design on certain devices that we use being um, min-maxed by the AI software, uh, you know, people generating business models based off of it. I mean, I think within 10 years, if you're not using some sort of AI in your business to generate a plan or a model, you're probably going to be left in the dust when it comes to your competition, you know what I mean? Because they're all going to be using DeepSeek or something, you know? Um, <clears throat> so, you know, I want to use the double-edged sword analogy on this one, but I really don't think, I think this is ultimately a net negative for humanity because it's going to make us lazy and stupid and it, it's going to turn, uh, it's going to make corporations rich, which they're already rich enough, dude. You don't need to be more rich than you are. Come on, man. As I slurp the Baja. But yeah. AI models in here. I'm very surprised that even a third of people in that distro watch poll even voted for it. That's that's extremely shocking to me. I thought I was going to click in it and it was going to be like 90% not nah, keep that out of my distro. But there's actually people that are entertaining this, which is completely crazy. Now. I know I'm like uh, going trash mode and talking crap about uh, AI, but there there are positive elements to this, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to say that there isn't positive elements, but 
for trying to learn right i guess it could be a good thing it could it could point you into to the right things um trying i don't know i'm trying to say something nice but <laughs> i just really think it's all fucking pointless <sighs> oh look i can ask it a question now it finally installed all right let's see um let's let's give it an easy one give me Wait, give me an FCF, oh, FCF command that searches videos and allows me to open video files in mpv let's see let's see if it gives me the right command and this will this will uh, it's funny that this uh worked out the way that it did that it all lined up because now i can show you uh it, it's probably not going to give me the right command let's just be real let's just be real yep it's already wrong Let's copy it right now. We'll check it. I don't think it's going to work. See, it's fucking broken. <laughs> but yeah, this is a perfect example. Like, obviously, this is a fresh model. You got to ask it things and talk to it for a while. And, and, I don't know maybe i'm saying something wrong maybe i don't know fully exactly how these work i honestly don't care i don't plan on using it that much so there's that anyway so this will be my video um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it uh shout out to the people that recently subscribed i noticed i got like 30 subs or something real quick that's really cool dude you guys are chill um yeah I got a Discord server. You want to join? There's going to be links all over the place. Links in the pinned comment. Link in the description. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. It helps your boy out in the algorithm. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll check you later. Peace out.